Hey guys, I just want to say right off the bat that I've chosen a date for my next shop update. It's going to be Tuesday, April 2nd. Okay, scratch that. I got to jump in because there have since been some complications and I'm going to have to have the shop update a week after that. So Tuesday, April 9th. I originally was hoping for a March update, but I just don't want to rush it. We just got back from vacation and I want to make sure I'm giving myself enough time. And I'm going with the Tuesday because I do the streams on Wednesdays and that just gives me a day to iron out kinks, make sure everything's running smoothly with the shop update. So I'm not rushing to like respond to emails and things right before going live. And I have all the product in right now. I was going to maybe do a couple prints like a ducky restock and then a print of that candy artwork. But I might just postpone that for the little summer update I do because the summer update is just gonna be kind of some random items and so I'll just save the prints for that and so we're now officially in the shop prep crunch a little although it's not too much of a crunch because I give you myself a couple of weeks here because the the trip to Palm Springs kind of threw a wrench into everything in terms of timing ordering things in I didn't want stuff to arrive while we were gone although some of the stuff I'm ordering is for a future shop update like tote stuff DTF I did order some stuff while I was in Palm Springs so that it would arrive not too long after we're back. But the actual product for this shop update cut it so close. Like there was some stuff that arrived the Friday before we left because we left on Sunday. So it was the very last business day <laughs> before we left. <sighs> oh, Lucy. Come here, baby. Oh. Come here, and I left my shop open while we were away so I could still get some orders coming in because you know it's like my main income source plus Christian works for me now so I'm like I'm gonna leave the shop open even if I'm on vacation let the orders come in I just changed the banner to say that the orders would go out today so hopefully people saw that but yeah we were gone Sunday through Friday we got home Friday just about at midnight so it was a late return and I'm gonna put the Palm Spring stuff in a separate video I think like kind of discussing the trip I have a few clips I didn't vlog a ton but I do have some but what I want to start doing is a little bit of art journaling stuff I'm going to start a new sketchbook that is dedicated to art journaling things and I can fill it with pictures doodles some writing just almost like a little mini scrapbook <laughs> and I just update it whenever I feel like I have something to update to add into it and one thing I bought in Palm Springs that I thought would work really well for that is this it says the botanists sticker anthology and it's a whole bunch of sticker sheets it's matte paper stickers and it's a whole book full of them oh, so many plants <laughs> got lots of insects in there too it would just be perfect for that kind of thing this is the desert section too palm springs is in the desert but yeah nice trip Nice way to get away from the cold, even though it wasn't that cold here while we were gone. Christian's parents are staying there for the month, and they're renting a house there, so we stayed with them. And my brother-in-law and sister-in-law were there, too, along with my nieces. And so it was just like another little family get-together. <laughs> but yeah, I'll discuss that more in this separate video. Also got this mug there, among other things. <laughs> so what I'm going to do right now, though, is I'm going to go on TikTok Live to pack up the orders that came in while I was gone. Because I've been wanting to possibly start doing TikTok lives and it just works out perfectly with my second order packing day because the YouTube streams are on Wednesdays and I have packages that go out Thursday so if I have a lot I can do an order packing on Wednesday but most of my orders come in over the weekend and so I have a lot to pack on Mondays but I'm not live streaming on Mondays so it kind of makes sense to do a TikTok live either Sunday night or like afternoon or Monday morning something like that so that's what I'm doing and I can now go live from the TikTok studio app so that should be better this time. Better view. Oh, hell yeah. HS codes are now imported from Shopify. Thank you. <laughs> what the news? Look. I got a noisy baby. I got a noisy baby. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. I got a noisy baby. I got a noisy baby. Okay, the stream lasted 
two hours and 17 minutes. So that was pretty long, but I got through 18 orders. I was doing some sticky note stickiness tests during the stream because I got a comment or two on my last vlog saying the Vogue sticky notes are not very sticky. And someone mentioned that Vistaprint sells them and their actual post-it note brand sticky notes. And so I was like, oh crap, like I got to look into this, got to test these out. And so some of the testing was okay, some of it not okay. So just stuck to this paper, this one was fine, but it was also just laying flat. But every surface, it feels like it's sticking a lot, but it will slowly lift. Like the paper was fine, but I tried sticking to this metal thing. I guess the one I'm doing the test with is one of the warped ones, which might be affecting things, but you know, I stuck it here and it eventually fell, like completely fell. I also stuck one to my monitor screen and went to the plastic edge of my monitor. And those ones did not fall, but the edge it was lifting, you know? Cause I feel like too, when you peel it off, it curls a bit. So that could be why the corner lifts because like, look at the corner that lifted, like that peeled off last is really curly. And so when I stick it down to a surface, this is the first edge to go. So maybe it would stick better if I flattened it out, but then you're like touching it. <laughs> so like it's there, it's not there, it's on the ground. <laughs> like it feels pretty strong. <laughs> But it won't last. Okay, there, I ripped it up on that last one. <laughs> but, like, it'll eventually start to lift a bit. So, they're okay, but they're not the best. So going forward, I probably will get the official post-it ones. But now I'm wondering if I should try ordering that now. Like, I want to hop on Vistaprint and see if I ordered some now, would they come before my shop update? Because then I could sell these ones cheap, which wouldn't be that hard because they were really inexpensive. The post-it ones would be would cost me a lot more and I have to sell them for more but I could still put these out but I only have 200 of each of these which is why I don't think it would hurt to order more but in order to get a good price on Vistaprint I do have to order at least 500 so I'm like oh my god could I sell 700 of each that's a lot but I feel like at least the cheap ones would go fast here's this one curly corner curly corner this one same corner starting to lift a little bit so yeah I'm gonna hop on Vistaprint right now and look at it the metal one's getting to danger levels. <laughs> and then the one on the monitor, still hanging in there with a the curly edge. Okay, I took a look at Vistaprint and I cannot do express shipping on the sticky notes. I can only do standard. And so it says they will arrive April 5th and I wanted to do my shop update April 2nd, but I'm still gonna order them. I'm just gonna delay the shop update by a week. So three weeks from now, that seems so far away but I just feel like I need to do this. I need to, so they're ordered. I had to edit all the files though because the sticky note size is slightly bigger on Vistaprint and so I had to completely redo everything. The strawberry one took the most effort because Straub has a border and everything so I had to redo the border and then move things around, scale them. So it's a little different and you should have more writing space now. Tulip wreath won't really have more writing space but you'll see more of the flowers which is nice. Also my file was dark. When I got them I was like, huh, the background printed a little darker than I thought it was. Yeah, look at that. Because I opened my Photoshop file, the background looked like this. So I don't know why that was darker. See, so there's a comparison before, after. Before, after, pretty similar, but the side Luna Moth is not as close to the moon anymore. And the top stuff I'd kind of just spread out a little bit to be closer to the border. Sunset should look pretty much the same, just bigger. So yeah, that's delaying things, but I just, I want to put out a good product and I'll still put out the other ones for sale. They'll be quite a bit cheaper. Because, I mean, I was thinking of selling them for like $2.50 to $3 each, those other ones. But these ones are going to have to go for either $4.50 or $5. Which feels like a lot for a sticky note, especially because that's USD. So, <laughs> my roots are really apparent in this lighting. I need to re-dye soon. Maybe in like a week. Because the color leeches and I don't want it to stain my nails when I shower. Anyway, my DTF transfers were just delivered and my totes. Some of the totes because they come in cases of 60. So I got two cases and then I got one other tote that has the accent color on it. And I wanted to order a few different colors to see what they were like, but a lot of them I could not get individually. I could only get by the case. And so I just got one, which I think is red. These bags ended up costing me a lot because like price per bag is around 450 USD. 
but the shipping fee to Canada almost doubled the price. And then there's customs on top of that. And when I paid my customs, I thought the amount was super low. And I, I'm looking at the invoice right now that came with the package. And it says that the, the declared value for each tote was 45 cents. It says 0 0.450. It should be 4.50. So they messed that up. And that worked in my favor because that means I'm paying less. But now I also don't know how much I would have been charged otherwise. Like would I have paid 10 times as much? I paid like $18 in customs, which is so low. That's basically just like DHL's customs clearance fee, basically. But like I need to know so I can price out these bags. It would be nice to have a Canadian supplier, but like Canadian blank websites just don't have good tote options. So I feel like I wanna order from Tote Bag Factory because they got a lot of good options. It's just, Real expensive to ship it to Canada. And as for the DTF transfers, I didn't order that many because I was nervous. Cause what if they don't work out? What if I printed them too big or something? But also I ordered quite a few. So like <laughs> if this was a test, I should have ordered one gang sheet of each, but I ordered I think five gang sheets of each design, which is not crazy. There's six per sheet. So 30 of each design. So if something is wrong, that's 30 messed up ones. But at the same time, I didn't want just one sheet. I wanted to order more so I could start pressing them and stuff. But also now I'm busy with other shop stuff. So pressing them might have to wait anyway, but I would at least like to test it. There are the tote boxes. It's nice, we got the windows open for some fresh air because the weather's so lovely. Of course I opened the wrong one first. Zip, zip. <laughs> this one does not have an inner pocket, but it does have an outer pocket. So I could technically do both sides still or just do the pocket. But I feel like it'd be kind of cute having both because that's what I do on the black totes. The difference is that pouch is on the inside, but we could have a bigger pattern here, bigger design, and then a smaller one on the zipper side. It could be cute. There's some loose threads that need trimming. It's not trimmed very cleanly. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I could do a red trim one for strawberry and then a green trimmed one for Ludamoth. Oh yeah, the other thing about the DTF I ordered, I ordered DTF for the black bags. This would need smaller designs. And so I wanted one in hand so I could do measurements myself to see what size to order for these. So these will drop later on for like whatever summer update I do. Totes, tees, maybe a couple art prints, whatever else. <laughs> Woohoo, okay. Wait a minute, if shop update's not till April 9th, I could possibly have the totes up at the same time. Hmm, hmm, hmm. DTF, DTF. Okay, don't cut the DTF, careful with that knife. These are from DTF Prints Canada or whatever. Yeah, DTF Prints Canada. Five gang sheets of each design and they're four foot gang sheets. This is unfortunately the place that does the AI stickers. <laughs> Listen, they had the best transfers. That's a UV DTF transfer. Another AI bear. Another UV DTF. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. UV DTF is pretty interesting because it's just like a big sticker that can be stuck on a lot of different hard surfaces. Like, what are you doing in there? I can't live, laugh, love in these damn conditions. Whoa. These do feel a little flimsy compared to the ones I get from Sticker Beaver. <laughs> oh, another one. March Daffodil. Whoa. How many stickers did they frickin' put in here? Okay, the Luna Moth one feels way heavier. What's up with that? I always think of the strawberry one as filling more space, but the Luna Moth itself is big. But then the other decorative elements around it are really small. Oh, my freaking pins are in the way right now. Ah. And a kick in the way right now. <laughs> It feels so good to have shop prep stuff to do. Like, it gives me purpose. It gives me a goal. 
It just feels weird prepping for the current shop update and for the next one at the same time. This might actually be one long gang sheet. I'm curious if it, they actually did cut it into four foot strips. Because it makes sense to just leave it as one long one. And the pricing is the same regardless of what length you get. I mathed it out and it's the same. It's $4 a square foot no matter what. This does have a lot of empty space here, but I didn't really know what to fill it with. Although in hindsight, I could have done a tag for t-shirts just to test out doing a DTF transfer tag on the inside of a shirt. Because when I do t-shirts, I'm probably not gonna embroider the name on the back hip like I do with sweaters, because I feel like it might be a little too scratchy because shirts can be tighter or if you like tuck in your shirt or something, I just don't feel like you'd want it because the sweatshirts do have it. But I was thinking just on the inside of the tees, because originally that's what I was looking into for these, but these have a texture on the inside that's not good for doing a DTF transfer. But the t-shirts, it could work. But also I just want to test it to make sure it's not scratchy. So I actually do have some Bailey J logos printed out already, which is part of the reason why I didn't fill this with Bailey J logos. They're probably bigger than I would put on a t-shirt, but I could test it. So this is not that different from my previous test. This has been sitting out, so it's covered in hair. The ones I ordered will not be sitting out to get covered in capper. <laughs> so this will sit more like this. So a bit smaller for this part, and then also some elements around it. And does it fit the pressing pillow all right? Yes. I just don't know if it's gonna be too tricky trying to get it perfectly aligned. So that's why I'm like, should I go smaller? Like, am I cutting it too close here? And I use the pressing pillow because of folded over fabric areas, um, zippers, seams, where the handles are, stuff like that. It adds bulk and you need a lot of pressure with DTF transfers. And so the pressing pillow helps with that. So yeah, I'd have to make sure I'm aligned with the pressing pillow. That's gonna be the trickiest part. The edges look nice and crisp though. I painted around all the edges so it would look cleaner. Cool, cool. I don't think I'm gonna boot up the heat press right now. I just kinda wanted to see this. I could cut these though. On my to-do list I wrote to make the Luna Moth planner pad design, cause I'm not doing a physical planner pad for it, but I'm gonna do the digital download. And so I still need to make that, but I kinda wanna cut these right now. Just pop on some YouTube videos and cut. Okay, back to the sticky notes real quick. One good thing about ordering more now is that I can do bundles because with only 200 of each, I couldn't really justify doing a bundle of just the sticky notes, especially considering there would also be the Luna Moth bundle. But now, since I'm ordering more, I have enough for bundles. I really should get everything off this table because there's a color strip here that I have to cut off. And so it would be nice to just roll this out long and cut, 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 get the strip off of there. I wonder if this little message repeats itself every four feet or if it's only there once. Oh good, we can glide the scissors, yay. One thing I could also do is sell just the transfers. Although I don't really know how that would work price-wise. I'd have to math it out more properly to get exact numbers, but maybe it would be worth it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I'd do big ones like this. Might be a pain to ship. <laughs> oh, the text does repeat. Oh yeah, and this is the end where there's the small strubs. It's kind of this long strip here. Then one more here. That's for the inner pocket. This is also something I can make Christian do. <laughs> Just coming up with ideas, you know, for when he's not busy with embroidery. The strobes are all cut. I need to do Luna Moth still, but I was just trying to think of where I would store these. Because I do have these, but these are too small for those transfers. And so I was thinking of putting them in a drawer. I could take these out and put them somewhere else. But then I was thinking, this is kind of my DTF transfer station. So it makes sense for one of these drawers to have the transfers in it. I would need to clear something out though. 
this is kind of a catch-all so that it can be rearranged like maybe move this stuff to the bottom drawer uh, yeah it's kind of an art supply thing so i don't want it to be full of dtf transfer stuff mm -hmm. But I could probably sacrifice one drawer, especially because I have a different drawer that is full of stuff like this, like prints, some of it's my artwork. And that drawer is right here. Although it is getting kind of full. <laughs> the top one has my originals in it. Oh yeah, this one could be a print too. I kind of forgot how vibrant this is because I lightened it for the sticky notes so that you'd actually see your writing on it. Ah, uh, the original straws. This drawer has some originals too. Assemble the originals. A lot of them are in there because they're so big. They're big 11 by 14 sheets. This shouldn't be in there at all. <laughs> I kind of wish the cat print hollow still looked like this. The hollow is so much more subtle now. But their hollow prints used to just shine extra hard like this. Like, ah! I'm gonna have to add these to the giveaway pile. Because I think these I was giving to people when I was doing the subscriber mystery boxes. Where people would send me supplies. I would make art out of it. Send them the original artwork back. Along with some other goodies. I think. I think that's what this was from. Ah, the stencils! That I stole from my mom. <clears throat> these would be great for the art journal. I think this is gonna have to stay in here. Because my other drawers are not as deep as this one so you're staying i haven't touched this i thought i would do like a giant copic illustration or something but i never did and i guess those can stay in there and then the dtf transfers can sit on top and there we go the ludomots can just go right on top and the small ones can go beside and then when i'm working on a certain design i'll just pull out the whole stack i'm not going to bend down to the drawer to grab each individual one okay here i gotta be a bit careful these sparkles are part of this but at least you could tell because it's sideways. You know, they're taller than they are wide. That's the only close call, really. Okay, there we go. Okay, I've made the monthly planner pad, which I don't plan to get printed at the moment. But now I'm slightly regretting that. There would maybe be time, but if I do a lower quantity, it's gonna be so expensive. Uh, uh, I could get a quote. <laughs> But here's the full design. And then this is my cropped view, because that's with the bleed and with a white border. And then this is cropped down to size. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, I have more sticky notes to show. I put these up three hours ago. This one's stuck to the wall. It's lifting pretty bad, pretty bad. It's lifted kind of all along the top, at least a little bit, but this is the worst edge. Uh, this one's a little better on the glass. It's mainly just the corner. And then the one on the wood, Pretty good, just the corner, as usual, because of the way I ripped them off. So I'm feeling pretty confident about my reorder. I think it'll be worth it. These are not that bad, but they're also not the best. So I've gone ahead and ordered the planner pads, and they will be here in time for the new shop update date. <laughs> I'm only getting 250 though, so the price is gonna go up. Same thing with the notepads, because I'm not ordering a thousand of each anymore. With these planner pads, I'm ordering 250 which should be plenty the planner pads don't sell that well because they used to get a thousand and then with the strawberries i only did 500 but i don't even want to go that high because i'm doing 500 for note pads and so i feel like the planner pads which are less popular should have even fewer so i think 250 is good and then i won't be too afraid to order planner pads because it's one of those things i've been like oh i shouldn't order it again because i just can't justify ordering so many we'll just order fewer and put up the price like just do it so that's done and i'm gonna head upstairs now i've already had supper and cleaned up christian made some ribs and corn on the cob and sidekick noodles it was like a wait i don't even know what it was it was either alfredo -y or like butter garlic -y. <laughs> i don't know it was good i was gonna do a bit of editing tonight but i feel like it's already getting kind of late i can just do it in the morning or something <laughs> but i also can't do any editing tomorrow night because we're going to Hairspray the Musical. <laughs> so I guess this week's editing will just be morning editing instead of evening editing. <laughs> but what I want to watch is the documentary Quiet on Set, which is about 
child actors and Nickelodeon and stuff and the dark side of it all. Why do I hear rustling noises? Hey! <coughs> what? You already had your treat. So it's now Tuesday and I'm gonna start off with some editing, but I just wanted to show you my other Palm Springs mug. They're both from Sazzy's Galleria. Art Galleria? Or just Galleria? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> the place is called Sazzy's. And they have stuff handmade by artists there. And so I just could not choose between the two mugs. So I got the cat one and I got this one. I just love the colors of this one and the shape. And the only thing is this one's really big. And they had a smaller one. And I was looking at both and I'm like, oh my god, the smaller one? I kind of like the shape a little bit better. But I think it's too small. It was not too small. <laughs> it was too big. They were around larger pieces and so they felt small in the store, but this is actually huge. I haven't had a single sip of my coffee yet and that's how low it is in the cup. It's like to here. <laughs> and that's an espresso, which is about eight ounces. So it is a little on the small side compared to like a Keurig 12 ounce or something, but still. <laughs> Just so cute though. Love the speckles, love the colors. This thing I could do without, but it's kind of cool too. Especially from the front, yeah. <laughs> Just wrapped up the editing and I stand up and turn and this is what I'm greeted with. I didn't even hear this happen. Was it you, Minush? Awfully talkative for someone who claims to be innocent. Today's not as warm as yesterday. It's chilly and overcast. Let's go back inside. This is why she's been so talkative in this vlog is because she keeps wanting to go out. We've created a monster! I want to take a look at some pins and press a few onto their cards and sleeve them just you know, regular pin grading stuff because tomorrow's stream is going to be a pin grading stream so I just want to make sure I've got everything good to go but also I want to film some vertical videos for social media so I'll get those clips today so I don't have to worry about doing it during the stream because I'm will probably forget during the stream <laughs> if I ever did an advent calendar again, I would probably just grade the pins through the plastic like this and put them in the advent calendar like that. <laughs> it's too much work otherwise. The thing is the plastic gets kind of scuffed up so it's hard to tell. Oh, those are beauties. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Minush. First you puke on my desk, then you harass me. Okay, get the phone, get the phone. Am I doing front camera or what? Okay, pull out the pen so I can record. Because this is the record button. <laughs> Makes it easier. Um... I mean, back camera would be ideal. It's harder to see what I'm filming when I use the back camera, but it looks a little nicer. My pop socket gets in the way, so the phone's not even flush with the bottom. 
What is it, little one? Actually, I know what it is. I know what it is. You were j literally just outside. You're not going back out. I usually have one of these cloths on hand just to check the pins, you know. But I'm gonna try wearing this glove, but just one. Because wearing two gloves to grade pins would probably drive me nuts. But it's just good to act as the cloth, just to wipe away any little bits to double check the quality of the pin. Because there's always like a little, you know, maybe little pieces of dust or something on there. And so it's nice to just wipe it away. Yeah. I feel like where I need these gloves is when I actually pin them on the backing, but that would be the most annoying time to have gloves, but it would be good for just making sure there's not like fingerprints all over it, I guess. The pins from this manufacturer are usually pretty good. The duckies were not that good because I had a, a plating issue with them, and so that affected a lot of the pins. But this seems to be good. So far, I haven't found a B grade. This one might be. It's got a pretty long scratch along the red straw. It's not super noticeable, but it's there. Can you see it on the red strawberry? Oh, yeah. So out of this bag of 100 pins, I have six B grades. A few of them are pretty minor, but some of them it's a little more noticeable. Like this one has some blue on it, like there. And it's up top too by the flower. I don't know what that is, but it's on the plating and it's blue. And then there's this one here, which is missing some of the fill at the tip of the leaf there which is the only one that I noticed that had the missing fill. And the rest of them are mainly just more noticeable scratches, but they're not that noticeable. So it's like <laughs> kind of borderline. They'll kind of be plus, you know? <laughs> now, this thing, the lid got a little loose, but it still works. And I have the blue one too. Yeah because I once had a friend help me with the pins during the advent calendar and so he was, I was grading them but then he was you know, taking the backings off, pinning them. So I needed a second one and this is from Galloway Labs on Etsy. Oh yeah. I feel like I should have a cloth down. That clink sounds blasphemous. We'll just start with the B grades. My honeycomb cardboard. I have so much of this from a portable AC unit we got at Costco. Oh, and then the cards. The backing cards, which I don't think I showed on the vlog. This, this is the first thing to arrive for this entire shop update. Eh. Stop it out. Don't be. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> It's just the strawberry pattern in flat color with lowered opacity, so it's not overly noticeable. And I did the same thing with the Luna Moths. Just pattern, low opacity. So cute, so cute. All right, there's no name on the top. I just have the Bailey Jane name on the bottom. So I can pin this a little higher if I want to. Adorb strub. Maybe a little off center. Usually I leave the backs just folded over and that's it. But I've been wanting to tape these. Like I've taped some more recent ones, like some of the more recently sleeved Daisy pins, Daisy Girl. And I just like the way it looks. I guess the question is do I use the Bailey J washi because I have so many rolls of it, I really should use that. Or 
Do I use strawberry washi? Because that's what matches. I gotta go strob. I gotta go strob. Out with the old, in with the new. I actually have a tape dispenser somewhere that has a padded core, like <laughs> makeshift padded core made by me, because this does not fit. But um, I don't actually know where that tape dispenser is. Like why isn't, oh this is backwards. Why isn't that the one I'm using by default in my packing station instead of this? Wait, it's kind of easier if you start at the bottom so you're not overlapping the bottom. That piece is way too big. <laughs> but I need it long enough that it covers the double fold in the back. Or double opening, I should say. Double flap. Yeah, I might actually label these on the front, just to be extra sure those are the B grades. Usually I just label the bin that they go into. But I just feel the need to do this right now. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got through that pack of 100 pins. Took a while, but I did it. Only 900 more to go. Although I'm not doing the rest today. I'll work on it again tomorrow. Also, I cannot get over how cute my nails look with this sweater. I feel like the camera's not even doing it justice, but they're both just slightly dusty. They just look so nice. It's the Coco Natasha sweater. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> and Kiki. Nachos. All right, time to chase this tiny whiny. <laughs> Usually we do this later in the night. I just chase her back and forth, up and down the hallway. Were you gonna exercise, Kiki? Oh, nice. This is the walking pad, by the way. <laughs> I walk at a pretty decent pace, get pretty sweaty. Yeah, it's been good. And I just open my laptop and watch stuff because that way I can use my Bluetooth earbuds. Because when I first started working out in here, I would watch stuff on the TV. But there's no Bluetooth. Unless the Chromecast has built-in Bluetooth. But, eh. I just use the laptop now. Yeah, those are my stinky workout socks. Yeesh. Chasing Kiki is the second workout. Come on, Kika, gotta burn off these nachos. <laughs> okay, time to change into a hairspray outfit. I think I'm gonna wear this, which kind of looks like a bathrobe when it's on, to be honest. I got it on clearance for like 10 or $15, and that was probably like a year ago, and I haven't worn it. See what I mean about robe vibes? <laughs> Especially because I have a robe with the elbow length sleeves like this. But I'm gonna wear it. It's so comfy and soft. And the leggings stay on because it's cold. I should probably get some of those leggings that look like thin nylon pantyhose, but it's actually leggings. <laughs> I need some of those. I kind of have some basic makeup on already, so I'm probably just gonna darken my eyelashes a bit. And maybe a bit of this. Am I flashing you? This is gonna be dangerous. <laughs> no bending forward. No, Kiki, I don't need to use a makeup brush. Leave me alone. This is my makeup drawer. This. And this. 
It's tempting to put on this BB cream because right now I just have some concealer, but no, no. We would reduce some of the shine probably. Cheeks are still looking pretty rosy. You know what? I don't think I need to apply more of this either. Just the mascara. I'm just going to be sitting in my seat, you know, in the dark. People are only going to see me in the lobby. We need a necklace. We need, <laughs> we need a safety pin. I can also maybe try my double-sided tape. Okay, here we are. Now let's go find some double-sided tape. Okay, the tape was not sticking to this fabric, and I was fighting with a safety pin and gave up. So I just sewed it right here. I could have maybe sewed it a little lower, although this, yeah, that's fine. It being low cut was not the problem, it was the fact that it opened right up. I'm there to watch the show, not put on a show. Mm -hmm. We're in the second row, off to the side, woohoo! Okay, it's 11.30 and we just got back home. Hairspray was really good. I kind of regret not listening to the songs ahead of time because I was really unsure about it because I've never seen it or listened to the soundtrack. So ultimately I decided to just go in without knowing anything and I kind of wish I did listen to the songs because it's kind of, it's more fun I think when you do know all the songs. But it was still really good and the talent was amazing and the show was really funny. My little stitch fix worked well for the most part but once I sit this part kind of opens so I almost need to stitch all along it or something or add just, just a little something because it was still opening up. It's now Wednesday morning and I wanted to say one more thing about Hairspray because I didn't know the songs there were times where I couldn't understand the lyrics and so that's another reason to know the songs ahead of time. But that was a good experiment because now I know for sure if I'm going to see a musical at least listen to the soundtrack couple times before going in. Maybe more than a couple times. I don't know. <sighs> it's hard to think that two days ago we had all the windows open and it was gorgeous and lovely. And now it looks like this. <laughs> what the heck? All the snow is almost melted the other day and now it's all back. It's back with a vengeance, in fact. Because <laughs> the ground was looking kind of brown for a long time. And now it's a winter wonderland. I thought spring was here. Ugh. That's Canadian winters for you. I mean, the weather's been nice, so I don't anticipate the snow staying too long. I mean, I haven't checked the forecast, but I'm just assuming. There's snow forecast all week. What the heck? <laughs> okay, I'm just looking at this hairspray booklet again, and I'm realizing something. The women who played Tracy, the main character, and her best friend, and then the mean blonde girl, Amber, they're all named Carolyn. <laughs> this gets so confusing on set. Okay, Christian's not gonna have a lot of embroidery to do until we get started on t-shirts. He's done a few strawberry ones this week because we had some 4X and 5X come in, but I'm still waiting on the pink blanks, which are probably coming today, tomorrow, or Friday, like within the week. But even those, he'll probably get through those in a week. And so I'm gonna need to help me with my pins. So I'm gonna grade some pins and then give them to Christian to put on the backings and into the sleeves. And I still want to do some of that on stream myself, but I want him to do a lot of it just to help speed things up. So I'm going to put together some stuff for him here. Okay, I want to keep the blue one because it matches me. <laughs> I might try to find more cards. And then for these, I'll just give him all of these and I'll grab more for myself. I found the other tape dispenser. So he can have that one. And I think that's all he needs other than the pins themselves. I guess he'll need some of these too. Wait. I gave him the blue one and kept the pink one. What was I thinking? I've been all the way up and down twice now in a row. I'm gonna have to do a third trip. There was a little bit of coffee left in my cup when I made a second coffee. <laughs> it's very full. I mean, that's a lot of foam on the top, but still. I'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs so many times. <laughs> I'm finally ready to start the stream. It's starting a little late and the sweatshirt shipment I was waiting on just arrived. So Christian could do that today, but I've already got all the enamel pin stuff upstairs and honestly I would prefer having his help with the pins today. So he'll be on pin duty and he can start on the sweatshirts tomorrow or something. Okay, stream is over. It was a good one. I didn't make a whole lot of progress because I was very chatty and distracted, but I got through, well, I graded 200 of the strawberry pins and they gave them to Christian to pin onto the backing cards, but I held onto the B grades to pin myself. 
and then I got through a bag of 50 Luna Moths and pinned those myself, and then I was just starting on another bag. And a delivery came towards the end of the stream, and it's very exciting. It's a Link statue that I pre-ordered last year. It's been almost a year since I ordered that thing. It just arrived. I'm not going to open it in this vlog though because I'm trying to wind down this vlog so I can start filming the Monday one tomorrow. We're not going to see it in this vlog but it'll be in the next one. Also I ordered an ear cleaning kit which is arriving tomorrow which you'll see in the next vlog. <laughs> but anyway I want to get back to having a couple Monday vlogs every month. So yeah supper's almost ready. Christian's cooking it right now and we'll watch Survivor later tonight. I'm just gonna have a chill evening, kind of do my usual. Maybe read, maybe play some video games, and watch Survivor, yeah. Just kidding, I'm back down here to edit because I forgot I'm doing my evening editing now and I didn't do any yesterday because we were at Hairspray. So <laughs> it's still the end of the vlog though. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wanna make a lot of stuff like this now. When I trimmed it, I left a little overhang so it's easy to peel next time. But look, look at these.